and pronounce. And I'm just gonna- I got the first half. <laughs> okay. Mancy. It's Mancy with oh, an M. <laughs> Epic failure. <laughs> Mancy Garg Apti from India. And let me know if I said that right or wrong. Okay, it's fine. Mansi asks us, what does it mean to engage your core on a spin bike? Okay, or, or, or a bike, indoor, outdoor bike. Okay, let's just say. Let's just start with what does it mean to engage your core? It's the same across the board. Okay, in general, um, in general like everyday activities. What does it mean to engage your core? I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that, but it basically, in my opinion, means prepare for a punch. Exactly. Okay, so now should you do that when you're riding a bike, whether it be an indoor bike or an outdoor bike? Not really. Do you want to use your core? Absolutely, okay? Um, do you want to engage your core and you know really think about pulling everything in tight? Not necessarily, because when you do that, you might be uh, restricting your, your lungs, Breathing. okay? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, of course you're gonna use your core, guys, but you know when you hear the instructor say, suck in your belly or tight abs, that's kind of a mistake on their part because they might not be doing you any favors when it comes to your cardio. Well, it's hard to breathe if you're constantly tight here. Right. So like think of like if you're doing sprints and you're finishing that sprint, like I want you to be spent and to get that full lung capacity of breath back in, yeah. my core cannot be tight. Right. Like there's just no way. Strong. So I'd say there's a difference between, you know, a tight core and a strong core. And you know, when you're riding your indoor or outdoor bike, you do use your core. Your core is what stabilizes your body. Let's go to what the core is, okay? Natural segment into that. Your core are the muscles in your um, abdominal area here, on your sides, your mid and lower back, as well as your glutes and your hips, okay? So of course, if you're going to be riding a bike, whether it be indoor or out, you have to use your core. Mm -hmm. The more you ride, the stronger your core is gonna get. Okay, and you can strengthen your core, you know, off of the bike to be a stronger rider. So, I mean, that's really, that's really it. You want to keep your, you know, abdominal area relaxed, but of course, ride with strength in every mm -hmm. muscle group mm -hmm. that you use on those bikes. That's it. Myth busted. Busted. So, if you want <laughs> to get advice from the most amazing trainers in the entire world, you're going to go ahead and visit Studio, Studio Sweat, Sweat on Demand. demand.